We're here on the Fall Kill Creek in Poughkeepsie, New York this afternoon as part of an ongoing study of juvenile eels, what are called glass eels. These tiny two-inch creatures have just come in from the Atlantic Ocean where they were born almost a year ago in what's called the Sargasso Sea, roughly between Bermuda and Puerto Rico. An amazing part of this project is that high school students are actually doing the research. We have, at different tributary sites up and down the Hudson River, these specialized nets called fike nets that are put in place into these tributaries. And daily, high school students, local volunteers, scientists, and other people come down to these fike nets to collect the glass eels, count them, weigh them, and then release them further upstream so that they can continue on with their journey. What have you learned from this project? Um, pretty much that eels are important. I've never really seen them to be any use except like little worms just wiggle around in the water. But they're a part of our ecosystem and they have a purpose. It's like volunteering with the community and not really that much people do it. And they always look at the kids like we're just stereotype and like we're bad kids or whatever. So I thought it was a good way to change the stereotype too. What does your grandmother think of all this? She she has something to do, and it's <laughs> like she likes it because she likes to see us doing stuff. Because before this, I never went out. I stayed in my room, watched TV all day, all night, and that's it. So it's just and it's new to her too. I think students should get involved with science programs because like science and math are like basic part of life. Like it's like everything evolves around it. I feel and like this is like basically proves it. Right?